Hi everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to retrieve the rows and cells from an Excel spreadsheet in Power Automate. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Logic Apps as well. To perform this flow, we will be using a Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector. But before we get started, remember to like and subscribe for more tutorials on using Cloudmersive Connectors in Power Automate and Logic Apps. To start our flow, we're going to need to click Create on the left-hand side of the Power Automate homepage. Then choose Instant Flow and manually trigger a flow and then press Create. Once you reach the Flow page, you can start adding new steps. We first need to get our file content from your preferred file drive. Once you've input your Excel file, we need to add a Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector. Choose Get Rows and Cells from an Excel XLSX Spreadsheet Worksheet. There should be two options with this name on the list. Make sure to choose the correct action. One will get columns and the other will get rows and cells. For me, this is the second action on the list. Note that if you've never used one of our connectors before, you'll be prompted to enter your API key. This is free on the Cloudmersive website with no commitment, and once you've entered it here, you won't be asked for it again. Now you can input the file content from your Get File Content action. Note that the input file URL and path are both optional. The worksheet name should be whichever worksheet you want to pull from within your Excel document. After using our Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector, we'll need to add a control. For the control, we will choose Apply to Each, and the input should be Rows. Then we will add a second Apply to Each control. This one should be Cells. Within this control, we will add a condition where text value is equal to the cell value you'd like to change. The If No box will be left blank, and the If Yes box will contain a few more Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connectors. The first connector we will add is the Set Update Cell Contents in an Excel XLSX Spreadsheet Worksheet by Cell action. Within the Cell Identifier box, we will add in the Cell Identifier. The text value we can put as whatever we'd like. For the input file by bytes, we'll add in the file content. Then add in the worksheet name. After this, we'll add in our final Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector. This will be the Finish Editing Document and Download Result from Document Editing action. For this, we only need our Input File URL, which is the Edited Document URL option. Now we can create our file in our preferred file drive. Choose your desired folder path and input a file name followed by .xlsx. For our file content, we will add in the output content from the final document conversion action. Once we've completed all these steps, we can save and run our flow. Click Test in the upper right-hand corner of the page. Then choose to perform the trigger action yourself. Press Test and Continue, and when it appears, click on Run Flow and Done. After clicking Done, you will see green check marks next to all of the connectors showing that the flow worked. Sometimes it takes a second or two for all of the check marks to appear, so don't stress if that happens to you. If your flow doesn't work for some reason, check to make sure your original input file was valid for the connector, meaning it was an XLSX file, and that the names you chose for your files throughout the flow were followed by their file type, .xlsx. You should also check that the cells you are referencing are input correctly. Now you can check your chosen folder for the updates to your Excel document. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe and check back in for more tutorials and tips on using Cloudmersive connectors in Power Automate.